We should understand that abortion is also a class issue. Rich women have always been able to get their personal physicians to arrange an abortion for them. It's poor women and middle-class women who don't have that kind of money and don't have an expensive private physician in whose office you can perform an abortion. Those women are the ones denied an abortion. Women who are the majority of American women who go to a place like Planned Parenthood, which is safe and public and low cost. And so we're talking about real class divisions here. The original women's movement, of which I am a proud founder of the second wave feminist movement, had two prongs to our abortion rights women, our abortion rights movement. One was the ability to have a free abortion, to have that right, like I should say, every other Western industrialized wealthy country has except the United States. And the other is to stop forced sterilizations because control of women's bodies has also been a weapon to stop us from having, stop undesirable people, i.e. poor people or minority people from having children. Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels in their work said you can tell the advancement of a civilization and of a nation by the way they treat women. And as our country goes backward in time, and as our people die younger and younger, and as fewer and fewer people have any children because they don't believe in the future, and as we lose our wars and go backwards, the right wing is trying to assert male supremacy and white male supremacy and to divide the mass of workers from each other so that we don't all together demand a more just and economically possible future together. And so abortion is an element of class control through controlling women's bodies. And it has always been so. There have always been abortions. It's just that poor women have had to try to abort themselves or go to on unsafe conditions because having an unwanted child, particularly with someone who is intolerable to live with, is a cruel and unusual punishment. What happens when you ban abortions is women still try to abort unwanted children. They just are much more likely to bleed to death and die and much less likely to be healthy and be able to parent if they want to and be available for a wanted child. And so this assault on women is part of a right-wing thrust because abortion has always been here it will be here, and the way you treat it is whether you is a real testimony to the question of whether you want to inflict a cruel and unusual punishment on the majority of the people, and women are a slight majority in the United States, or whether you're going to give women and men the honor to decide if they want a child.